Hello everyone, this is Darling Tarot Heart and today we are doing a pick a card reading. Today I have a beautiful uh, message to give out to the world and it is the May 2023 love predictions. I am such a lover. I love love. I love the idea of love. I love people. I love uh, receiving messages about love. So I'm here to give out beautiful messages uh, about your love life, how you will accept love and how you, how you will uh, give uh, love out to the world uh, on your own. So I'm very happy and pumped to do this reading for you today. Uh, May is one of the most beautiful months uh, of the year. You see the nature blooming, you see all the beautiful um, flowers blooming and uh, feeling uh, all the nature uh, just wanting to uh, bloom and make everything around you feel so pretty and so beautiful. So yeah, uh, this is uh, the messages I, I'm going to uh, give you today all about love and how everything is going to unfold about your love life. So this is pile number one, this is pile number two and this is pile number three. You can pick either from the flower or the card you feel most connected to. Uh, I'm sorry I don't know the names of uh, the flowers uh, except maybe this one, the lavender one, uh, but I don't know the other two uh, names in English, I'm so sorry. Uh, but uh, whatever you feel most connected to, feel free to pause this video and meditate a little bit to figure out which pile has the right message for you and go to the corresponding timestamp to uh, find uh, your pile easier. Uh, if the message doesn't resonate to you, you can always come back to uh, the start and uh, pick another pile. It's uh, totally fine. So yeah, um, let's take a moment to breathe a little bit. And let's move on to the readings. Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number one with the lavender uh bloom and here is your message we have past life relationship you have known each other before very interesting start if you ask me so in the month of april you are going to receive some kind of message uh in regards to um someone from your past maybe a, 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 a an ex or like this uh, card says, a past life relationship. Uh, either you believe in this um, particular thing or not. Uh, maybe it feels like this person that is going to message you, um, it, uh, it has a particular feeling that you have known this person in the past. Uh, it feel, um, this person feels very, very familiar to you, uh, either in a good way or a bad way, of course. But in any case, you are going to receive some kind of message from a person from your past or someone you have had uh, um, some kind of uh, relationship, either a deep one or someone you've known uh, for a while and then you um, stopped um, seeing each other. Or I feel like uh, this is someone who... Uh, has you in their minds and um, they really want to message you and show you that they are attracted to you, that uh, you are in their thoughts. This is a person that uh, may have some regrets in regards to how they treated you and maybe they want to come again in your life and apologize. Um, but uh, in any case, um, this card just talks about a connection that feels very familiar to you, uh, someone who has um, done something to you. Uh, so it, yeah, they maybe this is an ex or maybe this is a person uh, that, like I said, feels uh, very connected to you, but you don't know them, That but you just feel like you have known this person before. So maybe, um, of course, it is your choice if you want to pursue this person more or not. Uh, but this is the feeling that you're going to get if you see this um, this person. Uh, this doesn't mean uh, that this is a negative card in a negative meaning or um, anything in particular. It just means that there is someone in your life that feels 
uh, very connected to you, very familiar, and they really want to uh, reach out to you and see how they feel, uh, how you feel about them, and let you know how they have been feeling uh, about you as well. So I have lots of cards today. This is a Romance Angels uh, Oracle deck. Um, let's get messages uh, using the dark wood tarot uh, i think uh, because this is, I, I get the feeling that this message has a deeper uh, kind of meaning and we need um, a tarot deck that is going to give us uh, more information about uh, this uh, kind of depth so let's see for people who will choose by number one a love message that they are going to receive in the month of April. Love messages for the month of April. Love messages for the month of April. For people who will choose file number one. One flipped. And it is justice. Very, very interesting in combination with this particular card. Um, justice is a very interesting card to get in a love reading because justice means something different to each of us. There is not just one truth. It is always from the perspective from the person that uh, views it, of course, and how they experience a particular situation. But um, the love message you are going to receive in the month of April comes from a person, uh, maybe they fall under the sign of Libra or maybe you are a Libra. And uh, this corresponds uh, to you wanting to feel appreciated and loved, wanting uh, to give out and, of course, receive the same attention and love you give to others. The Justice card is... Um, all about uh, actions and the consequences and how someone recognizes them. I want to read from the guidebook because every tarot deck is different. Uh, and this particular one always makes me want to read the guidebook, even though I have uh, studied this deck very deeply. It's always nice to let people know uh, the messages too. Uh, it says, what... To, what you do to others, you do to yourself, which is absolutely true, um, believe it or not. Um, and it says, work and effort, karma, are the witch rule of three. The energy you put out returns to you three times over, taking responsibility, doing the right thing, even if it is a tough and scary choice, showing up when you would rather avoid the situation, doing right by yourself, facing the truth and owning up. Um, this is a very interesting uh, message to get. I get the particular message that uh, the person you are interested in right now or the person that shows interest to you uh, in the month of April, you are going to feel like it is time to own up to your uh, part of the story, uh, owning up to the situation, owning up um, towards your responsibility towards this person maybe something some kind of energy something you said to to this person and um, maybe uh, apologizing for it try to figure out if this uh, person felt annoyed about something you said um, i really feel like you truly understand at this point in time that everything comes from you from your choices um, not just your choices but your choice of words as well because the justice card is always about uh, using your words um, to make it to the world and like i said the justice card is the libra um the libra uh, card in the tarot and libras are all about communication and uh, um trying to find balance between the mind and the heart and this is uh, i don't really see you being indecisive in this situation um rather the opposite you, it is time for you to take responsibility of the situation feeling stronger feeling like your voice needs to be heard and listened to um i really feel like you finally understand what you feel what it is you feel towards a particular person, even though they feel very 
familiar to you uh, and this person maybe they have been very very good to you but maybe it is not the right person to you to pursue uh, in a relationship even, even though you feel in this way um, but I really feel like uh, this is the time that you show up for yourself rather than somebody else and owing the um, honoring your heart and your feelings basically uh, i don't know why i get a particular message uh, about you owning up because this is uh, a tough message to put out i really thought that this uh, reading is going to be a light-hearted one and uh, um, spread a little positivity about love uh, in the month of may but i see some heavy energies um, in this particular pile you have the justice card and the justice card is a major arcana card and the major arcana cards correspond to bigger events so maybe this is uh, a time for you that if you take this advice of owning up and speaking your mind towards uh, a situation or a particular person about how they make you feel and how uh, you want to feel um, uh, and in any case, feelings that you want to feel uh, from now on. And if this person doesn't uh, show up to your standards, it is time to let them go. And you are going to be perfectly fine uh, because uh, you owned up to your heart. You honored your feelings and it feels so good to you to finally be free from this um, situation and never ending cycle. I want to get one more card. The people who will choose by number one we have the emperor which is a rather masculine uh, kind of energy uh, the emperor uh, corresponds to the zodiac sign of aries and um, it is very interesting if you ask me uh, to get this card uh, we have the past life relationship and the emperor the emperor is a very um um, shows a person that is rather structured and uh, wants to follow the rules. Uh, let's read it from the guidebook though about uh, the particular card. Here it is. Define the boundaries of your life to create your kingdom. And the meaning says Father figure, habits and strategies creating success and results, authority and nomination defense and protection, establish rules, asserting boundaries when needed and moving them when necessity calls for it, self-possession and above all things self-control. I really get a particular message mostly about you owning up um, to your responsibilities and your feelings. I really get a particular message that uh, if you don't do it, someone else will and it won't feel um, very nice to you. It will make you feel like um, uh, you are a victim of your own situation. And I am here to empower people and make them feel like uh, their life is theirs and their choices are theirs. So rather than the, rather than uh, me telling you that uh, there is a person coming towards you maybe you have known them and this person is uh, maybe under the sign of aries and uh, they are very structured and uh, it feels like they uh, set boundaries and feel very very um uh, poised every time they make a particular choice uh and f following up with uh with their choice uh, i always like to give messages about you and how you can show up uh towards your love life and i really get the particular message that it is time for you to set your boundaries it is time for you to uh, honor your feelings and honor your desires and moving on with um this guided message rather than um believing that there is someone who is going to take you out of a situation i'm all about uh people feeling empowered to make their own choices so uh it is a very interesting reading because we have the libra and uh, the libra card over here and the aries card over here and these two 
uh, zodiac signs are in the opposite sides of the zodiac cycle. So I really get a particular message that you are always feel uh, you always feel like you are um, in opposition with with a particular person, and it has uh, drained you uh, emotionally. They drain your energy. It feels very uh, disconnected to you and your feelings and how you want to uh, make your life happen. And uh, we don't like this in this channel. In this channel, we want to achieve things we want and we desire and you desire, of course. And I'm here to let you know that it is time for you to use uh, these two energies in order to either find your specific someone that you actually uh, feel familiar and uh, have a past life uh, connection um, bloom. Uh, in your life and create a beautiful relationship and not uh, be in a position of letting others choose for you. Let's get more cards. I want to use the Divine Feminine uh, Tarot deck by Cocorina, which I love and adore because look how beautiful this deck is. Let's see. A message from the Divine Feminine about love. For the month of April, for people who will choose by number one, you have the full. Oh my god, this is um amazing. Uh, oh, another card flipped also, and it is the King of Swords, which is oh my god, the energy I just got. Um, oh my god. The King of Swords has uh, so much in common with uh, the Justice card. It is so interesting to see this uh, happen in readings. Oh my God, amazing. The King of Swords is uh, someone who uses their logic and their intellect to uh, rule their life. And uh, it corresponds to the Justice card uh, so beautifully because like I said, the Justice card is all about you honoring your emotions and honoring your thoughts and your dreams. And the King of Swords, of course, is that as well. I want to read from the Guidebook of the Divine Feminine as well. Let's see, King of Swords, philosophy, truth and communication. When the King of Swords speaks, People listen to her wise words. Like a great seer, the King of Swords perceives the world with a clear mind, unclouded by bias. She is sharp and decisive on an everlasting journey of truth-seeking. She is a great philosopher, ever interested in how best uh, to lead others towards their truths and to see the world as it truly is. When the King of Swords comes to you, she is asking you to look at a situation fairly and speak what you know to be true. Be unafraid of alienating and scaring others. The world needs more seers and speakers. Oh my God, this is so empowering. You are going to feel so empowered if you use your words and your intellect and you are going to feel uh, like it is time to move uh, on to a better uh, circle of people. Um, you are going to feel so empowered to use your words uh, and your intellect. You are going to feel so um, smart and intelligent. You are going to walk into a room and people looking at you because they know how um, amazing uh, your mind and the way you think um, actually Oh my God, you f it feels it like uh, your mind is going to be the most attractive, attra I'm sorry, attractive thing uh, about you. And you're going to feel so empowered with this uh, uh, thing. And uh, oh my God, you have the full energy as well, which is interesting because uh, all the messages up until now uh, are all about you using structure and going by the book uh, in order to achieve the love life that you uh, desire and deserve. And uh, the full energy is pretty much you wanting to experience something new because the full is the number zero and it is the first card of the major arcana cards. Uh, another major arcana card, of course, over here, over here and over here. Um, this month is going to feel very uh, big for you. Uh, let's read the full as well in the guidebook. Let's see. I think it's about here. 
Potential innocence and a new journey. The fool balances at the edge of clouds preparing to leap into the unknown. The fool carries her potential in her pack and her innocence in a rosy grasp. She knows not what comes next but she is ready to begin a new journey. The fool is the internal soul constantly starting new adventures and taking leaps into the unknown. The discard is an invitation to walk boldly and excitedly towards something new and to release the exhilaration of leaping. Oh my god! Uh, you're going to feel so empowered to do and try new things uh, in regards to your love life. You are not going to believe that you uh, took this leap of faith uh, and uh, you feel so empowered. Oh my god, the full energy is... Uh, what makes you feel uh, young? You moving on towards... Um, a new goal and a new perspective is going to feel so so good for you so uh, you're going to feel excited about life again it really feels like you um, have been feeling like uh, a victim of your love life and the situation uh, always trying to achieve uh, happiness but may by making other people happy but I really see that in the month of May you are going to focus on your energy and where you give uh, uh, your energy, where you give your power, uh, what people you talk to. Uh, you're really going to be very selective, but also you're going to feel very, very brave. And this is uh, something that um, I always advise people to do, not just when I use the tarot, but in general. Um, luck and uh, faith and karma favors the brave. Even though you feel scared, even though you feel like you are unprepared for something, it's better to move on with the energy of hope that maybe something will work out in the end for the best of you, rather than not uh, even trying to do something about it. Uh, the Fool is an amazing card. It really invites you to... Um, experience uh, something new with the person that you feel that you are right now but also with the hope that you will be the person that you really really want to be uh, in the future. I really see that if you uh, embody the energy of the person you uh, feel um, like you want to be in the future, if you are uh, actively uh, doing things that embody this person, you are going to attract uh, this particular character and this particular opportunities that this uh, person in the future has much, much sooner uh, rather than feeling uh, stuck and in the same place and like nothing uh, is moving on um, in your life. I want to get one more card uh, and see what... Um, the potential is uh, if you actually take this advice for yourself and not uh, uh, feeling like a victim uh, of the situation or of a particular person. Let's see. For people who will choose pile number one, what is a particular message? What is the outcome of this reading? If they take this advice and honor their heart and their feelings, and speak about them. What is the outcome of this reading? For people who will choose band number one, what is the outcome of this reading? Oh my god, one flipped like you already see. And it is a beautiful pink card which corresponds to our um, background of, uh, I have for you today. This pink uh one uh exchanging gifts oh my god you will not believe the amazing gifts that you are going to receive uh if you use this piece of advice of um moving on with what feels like you're honoring your heart and uh, oh my god you're going to receive so many gifts uh by honoring your heart and your desires and doing little steps each time uh when it comes to your heart uh, what I mean when I say uh, honoring your heart, it, it simply means that when someone um, makes you feel like your standards are too high or that uh, you are asking for too much uh, uh, from people when you want a particular um, someone in your life, 
Uh, honoring your emotions simply means that uh, these are my standards and I'm not going to lower them just because I like a, a particular person, just because I have feelings for someone. When you know, when you know in your heart and in your mind that this person doesn't have all the things I want, I will not you will not pursue this person more, no matter how you feel. Maybe you can confront this person. Maybe you can uh, open up about your emotions towards them. What I mean when I say honoring your heart and your emotion, I simply mean that you are not going to feel uh, like your focus is shifted every time someone uh, says something to you. For example, if you want uh, a partner who wants to have a family and kids, you're not going to pursue people that don't want that just because you want to make them happy or you like them so much, so might as well uh, leave your dreams uh, behind. This is what I mean when I say honoring your heart and what you believe in. If you want to make a family, you got to have to uh, find a person who wants the same things and values uh, the same things as you. So if you... Uh, honor your heart, honor your feelings and be open about the, them and not feel like, um, and not feel um, sad, sighing away uh, from these feelings just because you like or you are, you feel lonely and you want to be in a relationship. Uh, you are going to feel empowered to actually uh, open your, um, open up about these desires and honoring them by putting them out in the world, even though they feel, uh, the people might say that you are crazy, that you want this, and you might be crazy for wanting that. This is your wants. It is not their wants. And you will soon find out that it is easier to let people go uh, when you say what you want out loud and them uh, deciding if they want this or they don't want this. If someone says you are crazy because you want particular things in your lives, they are crazy because um, they want to uh, they want to lower you into their energy, and uh, they don't believe uh, in your dreams, and you don't want someone who doesn't believe in your dreams. So let this person go. Let these uh, people be in their little uh, brain and in their little cycle and focus on your energy and what you want in your life. And you will soon see that you are going to receive beautiful things and you are going to give out beautiful things to the world. Um, oh my God, I got a particular message that you are going to be able to actually give out to the world uh, the same energy that you want to receive very, very soon. You are going to feel like it is time to open up and uh, speak your mind. And it is going to feel very, very easy for you. Maybe the first steps are going to feel very uncomfortable, but it is uh, better to do the thing you want and feel uncomfortable but than not doing it at all. Um, I really feel like it is time for you to make your own choices and you're going to feel so empowered and so beautiful by doing so. And uh, the end outcome of this reading is this beautiful card exchanging gifts. Look how pink and beautiful it is. It makes me think that uh, you are going to receive such beautiful uh, people around you. You're going to make new friends. You are going to... Um, feel so empowered to try new things and in um, return you're going to receive beautiful beautiful things so that is all i have for you today thank you so much for watching i know this is uh, an uncommon love reading uh, to see in a video but i'm always about uh, empowering people to do and follow uh, their dreams so that is all i have for you today thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below if this resonated to you and uh, like and subscribe for more videos like this and let's move to pile number two hello this is for everyone who picked pile number two with this beautiful pink flower with the name i have no idea what it is uh, i'm sorry about that but here is your message we have the beautiful card called passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy oh my god you are so lucky the month of may is going to feel 
so passionate for you you are going to feel so connected and so beautiful with uh either yourself or a specific someone you have in your mind uh, or we'll see uh, the cards later but look at these two figures um, embracing each other and falling in love and uh, be present in the moment uh, both of them feel very open to receive love and uh, give love uh, this feels so good so empowering it feels like this a uh, connection you have in your mind or in general the love li your love life in uh, a is going to feel uh like um the most passionate month uh in the year but of course uh, i'm going to make more videos about uh, uh, the months and love messages each month so uh in any case this uh this month is going to feel uh like it is full of passion you're going to do things that you love you are going to meet people that you are going to adore it is going to feel very very passionate about you you're actually going to feel uh, all the high energy of love uh just feeling your life you're going to feel so adored and uh, wonderful about yourself and with the people uh, around you of course so let's get more messages. I'm going to use uh, the dark wood tarot to figure out uh, more messages about this passionate uh, month you're going to experience. Let's see. We have the Empress. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is beautiful. The Empress card is all about uh, feeling uh, passionate, feeling adored, feeling... Uh, like uh feeling yourself feeling your most uh, beautiful and your most passionate self the empress is all about uh you being in tune with your emotions with your body uh with your external self and how you show up to the world you're going to feel very connected to whatever it makes you feel passionate maybe you have a hobby maybe you are um uh, have uh, some kind of uh uh, artistic uh, project that you are going to pursue even more and um, the Empress card pretty much tells me that you that this artistic um, uh, project this uh, art idea you have maybe for your business or in general maybe it is just a hobby it is going to make you feel very very empowered so I'm going to read from the guidebook because it's uh, it's uh, tarot deck is different and uh, always has something new to give to the community let's read your passion which we have over here as well your passion is the blueprint to your magic oh my god you're going to feel so empowered this month look at this figure and how um they are in their power they feel empowered they feel uh, in the right place at the right time they feel very fertile with their ideas and their body oh my god let's read the message it says mother figure creation artistic ability soft gentle nurturing touch reinvention and expression confidence and abundance of the soul fertility and birth sensorial pleasure and earthly delights stepping in tune with seasonal change displaying natural abundance in all things the nurtured the nurturing of self-expression and potential oh my god you know how empowered how empowered you are you know how powerful you are you know how to use uh, your energy to manifest the love that you desire oh my god you are so in tune you know your worth you know how much um you know how everything comes from your energy and your choices you feel like you are a powerful manifester you feel um the energy that you put out to the world coming uh, back to you tenfold basically the empress card of course also is about pregnancy and you feeling uh, fertile with uh, ideas but of course uh, this is not a message for everyone this is just uh, maybe a particular message that someone that picked this pile has to uh, listen to so i see so much passion in your life and maybe an announcement of pregnancy uh, in your surroundings or maybe you are pregnant and this is a spoiler alert but uh let's get more messages let's see for people who will choose pile number 
two. Oh my god, uh, one flipped and it is the seven of pentacles, which is amazing. Another card that tells me that you are an, uh, a person that um, loves to receive earthly delights and earthly desires, like the Empress card says. The pentacles always correspond to um, our everyday life, our finances, our everyday delights. So, and uh, I think that the number uh seven is um uh all about um after a small victory how you handle uh this uh situation but let's read from the guidebook let's see it is the seven of pentacles i think the pentacles are in the end of the book number seven oh my god look how beautiful the artwork is i love this card um it says slumber and it says results are seen things move rapidly according to plan stop and recess consider the final goal rest is needed your head clears upon waking oh my god um maybe you have been feeling like um i have already achieved some of my goals why do i still need to manifest even more uh, i feel like i always manifest uh my uh, my things uh, very fast and i i don't know what uh step i need to do next uh, if i need to manifest at all you don't have to manifest your goals all the time you always need time to rest you always need time to uh settle in uh feeling the success feeling that you deserve the success feeling that you finally uh, have the thing that you desire and it is time for you to actually enjoy it uh finally figure out that uh, this is something that you have been working on and it is time to take a moment of pause and actually uh, feel in tune that you um created the thing out of thin air that you uh, have manifest this is a time to take a moment and sleep and the next thing is going to um come towards you much easier because your head is going to be clear because when we sleep we um collect all the data from our everyday life and uh, in our mind they settle in they make uh, more sense uh, and we wake up with uh, new energy and new thought patterns and uh, I really see that maybe this is a time for you to take a moment and sleep better. Maybe this is you fixing your sleep schedule. Maybe this is uh, you uh, reaping the, the fruits of your label after uh, so much hustling and uh, after so much uh, work you have put in your everyday life. And, and this is you actually uh, feeling... Um, content with what you have achieved so far and you really know that you are going to achieve even more um, things in the end and it is beautiful and you are uh, in a great place right now or even though you don't feel like right now you are in a great place uh, you will soon find out why you have been trying so hard and why um, you need to rest right now because this month is going to feel so passionate for you you are going to receive the love that you uh, desire you're going to receive the person the message the outcome you want uh, from a specific someone maybe you have in your mind but maybe if this uh, if you have no one in your mind you are single and you have no one uh, around you that um any interest towards you uh, fear not because love is not just about uh, the other people and how uh, if you like them or you don't like them uh, being in relationships or not love is uh, a beautiful thing love is everything that moves us and makes us feel passionate and feel uh, and make us feel satisfied and content with our life and believe me when I tell you, you don't need anyone in your life in order to feel passionate and beautiful about your own life. This is a message that 
uh, either you are in a relationship or a situationship or um, you feel attracted towards a specific person and you don't know what to do, uh, my advice to you is give this attention towards yourself, be passionate about the things that you want. And if there is someone who likes you for what they see, uh, likes you for what you actually put out to the world and uh, they show you the uh, attention because of how passionate you are, this is uh, the message that uh, will make you feel empowered to continue with this particular person. If someone wants to tone down your passion, if someone wants to control your passion, if someone makes you feel like uh, you don't deserve to feel passionate uh, just because they want to lower you in their energy, this person is not for you. This is a specific message that you are going to be empowered if you follow your passion and if you uh, show up, up to yourself and the people that are going to match this energy are the people for you and nothing less, basically. So let's move to more cards. Um, I want to get messages using the Divine Feminine Tarot deck by Cocorina because I love this deck. Look how beautiful and gold it is. Oh my God, I love the illustrations of this deck. Um, let's see what... Uh, the love messages for the month of May are going to look like for you. Love messages for the month of April for people who are by number two with the little pink flowers. One flip and it is the seven of cups, which is very interesting. I want to get one more already. Let's see. For people who choose pile number two, what is the message from the Divine Feminine in regards to love? For people who choose pile number two, a love message. We got the card Strength. Oh my God, you have two major arcana cards over here and it is wonderful. I love um, when I do readings. Uh, I love to get major arcana cards when I do readings because it really means that uh, this particular reading it has, it is meant to find you because uh, it really... Uh, it really gives you some kind of insight about what to do and uh, make you feel empowered, basically. So we have the Seven of Cups, which is an interesting card. We have another Seven and you have another Seven over here. So um, the Seven of Pentacles, like I said, corresponds to something more real, uh, real everyday life, your finances, your work life. And the Seven of Cups, the Cups correspond to... Uh, your emotional side, your emotion self and how you navigate uh, with your emotions in life. And uh, like I said, the number seven is after some kind of success, how you manage it, how you handle it and uh, uh, what you are going to do from now on, basically. Let's uh, read from the guidebook, though, because it's the is different. And we have the cups i am not sure where they are here it is the nine eight seven of cups dreaming possibility and fantasy the exciting possibilities of the universe cast fantastical but dangerous dreaming spells and it says a woman is surrounded by cups of possibilities each with different fa each with different paths she might take it can be freeing to imagine all the possible lives you could live, all of the people you can be. Enjoy the fantasy of what each cup offers you. But know that soon you will need to make a decision and choose a path to walk. That doesn't mean that cups will disappear, but you will need to shift your focus to a specific way of being in order to live intentionally. Um, I'm pretty sure that this message is uh, not for everyone, but... Uh, here it is uh, either way. Maybe uh, like the Seven of Pentacles, uh, you have been feeling like you already achieved so much. Why do you need to continue to manifest and why do you always need to be the one that is behind the wheel of things? Uh, like I said, this is uh, uh, maybe you have been feeling like you need to rest. Maybe you need to take some time off from work or um, like I said, you need to take some time off to rest 
in order to take it all in and make sense uh, that you have achieved all, all these things. Uh, small or big, it doesn't really matter if uh, the things you manifested are just small everyday things. Sometimes small uh, little things is what makes us move towards a bigger goal and a bigger dream basically. And the Seven of Cups pretty much uh, makes me think that not only you feel like you need to rest in order to make sense of uh, your real life issues, but also um, sleep is what will make you um, feel connected to your dreams as well and your emotional self. Look how beautiful this card signs. Look how this person has uh, both of their hands um, up in the sky and maybe towards uh, the cups, but also one of the hands is going to touch this star, which is not uh, one of the, of the options uh, of the cup. But this makes me think that maybe something uh, that, f f uh, that you think that maybe is an option for you, maybe... Um, not that it is not an option for you, but maybe it feels like uh, it is an easy way to achieve uh, something. Maybe this is um, just a message that you have uh, lots of people around you that want to offer you a beautiful and passionate uh, relationship, but you don't know which one is the right one. Maybe you feel like you need to uh, move to a specific uh, someone and... Uh, Tell them how you feel before you uh, open up to the possibility that there is someone else for you out there. Uh, but in any case, this is you daydreaming about how your love life can look like. And believe me when I tell you, it is beautiful to make scenarios. And like the guidebook says, explore all the possibilities of your emotional self and how each person or each situation is going to make you feel. But uh, like the guidebook says, it is time to, um, the next step is uh, after the daydreaming, what you do after you daydream. So this is a message that you need to pick one of these uh, options, maybe one of these people uh, to date them. This doesn't mean that um, you step away for someone you have uh, particular feelings towards. It just means that you explore your possibilities in real life and not just in dream state. Um, and we have the strength card as well, which is a beautiful, the strength card, the strength card corresponds to the zodiac sign of Leo. It's card number eight. Uh, and we have a seven, seven, eight. Um, if this is important to you, maybe, uh, if you see the seven, seven, eight, uh, it, this is going to, uh, to be a particular message, uh, that you, um, that will make you think of this reading and maybe take the advice of this particular reading. Let's read from the guidebook though about the strength card. I think it's in the start. I passed it. Here it is. It says, courage, compassion and confidence. Your wildness is your ally. Oh my God, beautiful. I love this in uh, response to the Empress card as well. As earthly beings, we all have raw passions and instincts that can seem frightening or strange, but there is the divine power in befriending the things about ourselves that we fear too deep, that we fear are too different or even unlovable. The woman in the strength card has approached this inner wildness, taking the form of the lioness. She confronts it with soft, quiet strength and understanding. She embraces it in a loving halo, inviting her wildness to become a part of her life. If you can befriend your fears, you might be able to approach others with the same compassion. This is a beautiful message. Like I said, it corresponds to the Empress card very, very well. Like the, the Empress card, um, I've been talking about that... Uh, if someone makes you um, want to feed into your passions is life, this is going to be the right person for you. And if someone wants to tone you down and uh, make you feel like you don't deserve the things you want, this is just not the right person for you. And the strength card is all about that. Exactly. The strength card tells me that you need to embrace your wildness. You will need to embrace your wild side. Uh, this is not the time for you to tame your uh, wild side. It is time for you to feed your uh, wild side and accept it and uh, move in life with this wild side of yours. And um, 
not feeling apology not feeling like you have to apologize for uh your wild side basically it is time to embrace your own passions your own strengths it is time to embrace who you are on the inside and uh move with this particular uh passion as a guide basically the strength card is also about uh confronting people maybe if someone is weirded out by your behavior uh, about something you said or something you um express that you feel towards them and they feel like oh this is uh, not the right thing i don't think that we uh, are compatible if you are like this this is not a calling for you to change it is just a calling that you don't need this person in your life and it is perfectly fine it is okay um it just makes you see uh clearer who it's uh, who uh, who of these people is the right one for you i really love how the imagery of this uh, card with these two people goes very well with this one about how the lioness is a bit lower and the person over here is a bit higher and they both lean in um, towards uh, one another. Um, it is um, weird with the lion, I guess, but look how similar these cards uh, look with the figures. So even though the card passion tells me that there is someone in your life that makes you want to feel passionate, that they are going to feed into your passionate side, this is also uh, this also makes me feel that it is time for you to lean into to lean in into your wild side, your passion. It is time for you to receive the same level of passion that you put out uh, towards other people and towards yourself. It is time for you to honor your wild side and it is time for you to honor all the uh, artistic uh, desires you may have. Uh, plant the seeds of your own... Um, uh, I don't know, plant a seed, plant uh, the the seed of passion into your life and you will see it grow so much faster than you have dreamt about oh my god um this is amazing i get so um my brain feels warm my heart feels warm my whole body has chills with this uh with this reading like i said the strength card is a major arcana card and it corresponds to major events in our lives bigger events so the month of may is going to make you feel like your love life is going to shift to a more passionate side and it is beautiful you really needed this um you really needed to feel passionate about something uh, in your life and believe me when i tell you you can achieve this uh just by honoring uh yourself your inner self and your inner passion and your wild side so let's get one more card uh as an outcome uh of the messages of may what is the outcome of the love messages for people who will choose by number two what is the outcome of this reading? We have that number uh, 15 with a message in a bottle. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is wonderful. Someone is going to receive messages of love. Maybe this is a secret crush. Maybe, like I said, this is um, a specific message that goes to people who really are in their power they already do all this uh, work uh, they already feel passionate about life and they already feel passionate about themselves but also i see that someone has their eyes on you they really feel like you are the prize they see you for what you are and they love you for being yourself and being your passionate self they really want to let you know how they feel message in a bottle is someone who has a secret crush on you basically uh number 15 goes down to a six and six is the lover's card in the tarot so maybe like i said this is someone who has a crush on you but also maybe uh, i get a specific message that um that this uh, particular card corresponds to more of this uh, side of uh, the reading which is the dreamy side the need to rest kind of um side and it makes me think that maybe you have been bottling up your feelings and it is time to let the person that you may have been feeling uh, attracted to let them know how you feel and uh, this is what will make you feel uh free 
from this situation. It is always better to let your emotions out and let people know how they feel. And believe me when I tell you, their response is what will uh, make you figure out in the end if this person uh, was worth uh, the wait, uh, was worth your... Um, your love uh, from the beginning basically if uh, you open up to someone and you let them know about how you feel and this person is like uh, oh my god I had no idea but we we don't match you are not uh, the person of my dreams I don't really like you I don't like your appearance uh, well this person is not for you and they were never for you but also if this person uh, responds with a beautiful and kind way thank them uh, not thank them, but uh, see it for what it is. There is nothing better than receiving an answer uh, to your question. It is better to have an answer that than keep on waiting for something that maybe is never going to happen. Um, so this is either a message about you receiving a love from a secret crush or you opening up to your um, specific someone about how you have been feeling and like I said uh, both of these um, scenarios move on to you feeling empowered so might as well try to do this specific thing so yeah that is all i have for you today thank you so much for watching like and subscribe for more videos like this leave a comment down below if this message resonated to you i always love to read your um cards i always love to read your comments and i always like to give more uh, advice in my comment section down below so yeah let's move on to pile number three Hello, this is for everyone who picked pile number three with this beautiful white flower. Here is your message. You have the card called Attraction. Oh my God. Um, uh, this is the Romance Angels uh, deck and it says, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Oh my God. Like this picture over here. Uh, in the month of May, I really see you out in the nature, enjoying yourself. I really see you in an environment that you enjoy being in. And this is what makes you um, feel like yourself, most yourself, uh, basically. Uh, I really see you feeling uh, like your environment matters to you so much. Maybe this is you... Um, uh, making your garden, uh, planting flowers, maybe this is you uh, wanting to make some kind of makeover in your room or your house, uh, maybe moving uh, places and making your new place your home. Uh, you being in tune with your uh, surroundings and you being in tune uh, with where you are right now is what will make you uh, raise your vibration and uh, match it with uh, specific people in your life. You are going to feel so attractive and so beautiful in the month of May. Um, it feels so good to be present. It is going to feel so good to be present for you. Uh, maybe you have been feeling like um, all these months uh, up until now felt very heavy in your shoulders. Maybe you feel like uh, people have been putting uh, too much responsibilities uh, on you, on uh, your shoulders. And uh, uh, this is your time to shine. This is your time to actually um, be present for yourself. Uh, I really love that uh, I picked, uh, I made you pick uh, flowers uh, for this reading and this person, uh, look uh, how they smell the flowers and they are present in the moment. The sense of smell is what will, uh, it, it is going to be uh, the sense that it is going to feel highlighted this month. I'm not really sure uh, why I got this message. Maybe it is because of the imagery, but I also... Uh, see you figuring out that uh, you smelling good or other people smelling good is what uh, is going to help you uh, feel attracted or uh, you feeling attractive uh, for other people. Uh, oh my god, it is beautiful. I really see you 
uh, the reason you picked this particular message is because uh, you really want to get out and uh, be in a new environment and uh, be present just for yourself and not for other people. Uh, I know this is uh, weird for love messages. Uh, maybe you, th you thought that uh, this card just means that you are going to attract the person that you want. And of course, this meaning is uh, here as well for, uh, with this card. But it also means that um, you don't need someone in particular in order to feel attractive. And it is a beautiful message to give out to this world because uh, in this channel, I love empowering people and um, help them achieve and guide them uh, with the tarot cards, help them uh, achieve their goals using their own thoughts and their own choices, being, being empowered uh, to make choices, basically. I love uh, when I help people do that. So yeah, let's get more cards using the dark wood tarot. Let's see, for people who will choose pile number three with the white flower, what is a love message for the month of April? For people who will choose pile number three, you have the eight of wands. Very, very interesting. The Eight of Wands is a card that um, corresponds, the, the Wands correspond to the fire element, so um, also the fire signs as well, so Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, so maybe you uh, have these uh, zodiac signs in your chart. And uh, the number eight is always about possibilities and the infinite power that we all hold in ourselves. In this particular deck, the Eight of Wands is a different, uh, has a different imagery than uh, most of tarot decks because in most tarot decks, uh, the Eight of Wands has uh, all the wands going in the same direction and it means uh, speed and how something is going to manifest in your life very, very fast. And you see that the imagery over here is very different. So let's read from the guidebook of the dark wood uh, tarot. I think the, it is in the beginning, right about here. Here's the wands and the eight of wands. We have the mermaid's dream, which is beautiful. Look how beautiful the image is. And it says... The Eight of Wands is the space between wish and culmination. It is the call and response of the universe. Prayers are sent. Forces are sent in motion. It is impossible to see where the intentions will land. It is too late to alter their course. You've done all you can for the moment. Sit with patience and wait for the situation to develop. Um, it corresponds to the attraction card very, very well because... The Eight of Wands pretty much tells you that you need to calm down. It is time for you to rest. You did all the right things. You did all you could do, basically. And uh, you did all the things that you thought they were right. And it is totally okay if you don't feel like you did uh, all the uh, all the work you thought you could do, but um, it is a call to feel uh, calm and content with what you um have tried to do all your trials um it is a time for you to um sit down and rest and let the universe do uh, its work as well it is a time for you to uh, rest without thinking uh, the outcome it is a time for you to rest with a clear mind and uh, like I said let the universe do the work too so uh, there is an expression in my culture uh, that says uh, you need to move your hands but you also need to have faith um, in your gods basically um, so I really think that these two cards correspond to one another very well because it says you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully and uh, not just enjoying the moment and do things with your mind uh, at the moment there, but also by doing nothing, by, by um, 
resting and feeling content and feeling like I did everything I could and I'm perfectly fine with it. It is a time for you to feel fine with the work you have put uh, out there. And if you feel like you didn't really do all the right things, believe me when I tell you that miracles happen every day and maybe you did uh, more than you think uh, you did. And believe me when I tell you the universe will serve you uh, all the right things at the right moment. I want to get more cards. Let's get one more using the dark wood tarot for people who will choose pile number three. Oh my God. Oh my God, you really put all the right work that you could do. Oh my God, the Wheel of Fortune is a major arcana card and the major arcana cards correspond to bigger events in our lives. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about good luck and uh, a cycle that has ended and a new one is approaching you. Uh, like I said, it feels like you did all you could do. And this is a time to sit and think uh, or not think at all and rest and uh, enjoy the moment. The Wheel of Fortune is all about karma and believe me when I tell you karma favors the brave and believe me when I tell you you have been uh, more than brave enough to attract the thing that you want to attract. The Wheel of Fortune pretty much tells me that something has ended uh, uh, like not much a while ago for you and uh, there is a new door that is opening up uh, towards you um, I really see some kind of new love coming into your life maybe um, like I said by feeling yourself by appreciating the moment by going out in the nature and uh, you feeling content with yourself and all the um, trials you have been through but uh, by you feeling okay and satisfied with your uh with yourself and how much work you have put out there it is what will help you realize that um the right person uh, and the right people basically will um understand how much work you have put towards this goal and believe me when I tell you they will recognize it and let you know very very soon how they feel about it but in any case this is love messages for the month of May and it, it I see beautiful things coming towards you uh, but I also see that you have been very uh, hard on yourself as well the wheel of fortune is all about uh a cycle that has ended it is a card number 10 and the number 10 is something that has come to an end it is the end goal something has manifested its way in your life it happened already and it is time to open up your mind to a new goal and open up your mind to a new possibility and a new outcome or to a new person in this uh, case and you're going to feel so attracted and um, towards a specific someone and uh, it is going to make you feel like passion and attraction is important it will feel so good it will feel oh my god um i i for some reason uh, even though these two cards tells me that you need to pause for a moment and take rest um, like I said, the Eight of Wands in the most uh, in most tarot decks uh, has the imagery of the Eight of Wands moving towards uh, a specific direction, and uh, most of the times it represents movement. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune also corresponds to some kind of movement towards a new goal uh, in life, maybe a new person. Um, I really see that uh, you need to balance out both the movement that happens in your life and the pause it is a time for you to focus your energy on balancing out where you need to pause and where you need to move towards a specific goal so uh i, I, I why am i getting a specific message about travel i don't understand uh, i see no cards that correspond to um movement and journey even though i said that this uh, particular card in other tarot uh, corresponds to movement uh, but we'll see 
uh, let's get more cards because uh, I get some kind of specific message. Let's see if it makes uh, sense with uh, the other tarot decks I want to uh, get cards from. Uh, I'm using the Divine Feminine Tarot deck because I love this deck. Let's see, a message from the Divine Feminine about your love life in the month of May. Oh my god, you have the 10 of cups and you have another 10 over here. So completion was something that was very important to you uh, up until now or for the month of April. You really want to uh, make sense and uh, find the end goal um, towards a specific person. But also the 10 of cups is about you receiving your manifestation. But let's get one more card. One flipped, I saw it, and it is the Three of Cups, which is, oh my god, it is beautiful. Oh my god, you are so lucky, you are so lucky. Um, you have the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups, which is a beautiful um, message. The Divine Feminine pretty much wants you to know that you being part of a community, you being part of... Uh, something uh, new you want to achieve is what will bring you more happiness uh, in your life. Um, let's read from the guidebook of the Divine Feminine. I'm going to read the Ten of Cups first because it corresponds to the Ten of, uh, uh, the, the, ten of the Major Arcana card of Wheel of Fortune. Let's see. Uh, it is the Ten of Cups again. Ten of Cups. I see it here. It says joy, contentment and being present. Another message about you being present in the moment. Enjoying this moment fully being present. Very interesting combination with these two cards. Ten of Cups is arranged in a rainbow of perfect alignment. But life is rarely perfect and we can't expect perfection in order to be happy. Instead, this card is an invitation to allow for a momentary happiness. A loved one's laughter, a beautiful sunset or dancing to your favorite song. It is a little moment that can make you feel like you truly have everything you need when you haven't reached all your goals. Uh, like I said, this card corresponds to the Wheel of Fortune very, very well because uh, it feels like you have completed something and you don't really know, know what to do with yourself and it feels like you have to wait. And this waiting is what makes you what makes you feel like it kills your dream, basically. It kills your love life. The waiting uh, makes you feel like you don't deserve the thing you want. But um, this is far from... Um, from the thing you have in your mind. This is just you uh, being in alignment with the things that you have already done. And it is a time to appreciate your own triumphs uh, and appreciate the things that you have already done and you have already achieved. So yeah, like I've been saying, uh, this is something that has uh, come to an end. This card is an invitation to appreciate the little things. The attraction card also states the same thing, that enjoying the moment is what will help you uh, feel more um, connected to yourself and connected to other people as well. It is what will make you feel uh, attractive. And let's read the Three of Cups as well. You have uh, the Ten of Cups and Three of Cups and the Cups correspond to our emotions. So you really need, you really, uh, need to tap into your emotional self and uh, really think about what your heart desires and move on towards um, what your heart desires and what will make you feel complete. So let's read the Three of Cups as well. But uh, the Three of Cups is all about building your community and finding your um, your uh, right people, basically, and opening up to new people, maybe. But let's read from uh, the guidebook. Joy, community and friendship. Enjoy the exquisite pleasure of participating in a community with those you love. In Three of Cups, uh, three women hold the cups in a toast to each other, becoming full from each other's presence. It is a signal to bask in the joy of being with those you love. Friendship can't solve everything, but it can certainly melt away the stresses of life with um, uh, for a little while. Give yourself over the 
elation, the laughter, and the healing power of meeting with friends. Your friendships, your friendships are one of the treasures of your life. And believe me when I tell you this true, of course, um, this is also an invitation that uh, you will meet someone special if you uh, go um, and make plans with your friends as well. Maybe uh, this is you being out with your friends and while you are being out with your friends, you attract someone you have been uh, wanting for a, li for a while now. Maybe this is you coming closer to a specific uh, circle and uh, meeting someone new and exciting and they will feel your cup they may we will, they will make you feel very very attractive they will make you feel like um you finally uh uh, made all the right choices that led you to this uh, particular moment. Uh, both of these cards correspond to you building uh, your community, being in the present moment. At times, the Ten of Cups also means uh, a celebration of a relationship. It means uh, that you go to a wedding, for example, or you go to someone's... Um, um, I don't know, anniversary and meeting people, uh, new people there. This is um, you being in a community that wants to celebrate love. And uh, like the guidebook says, this uh, particular uh, community will help you stress uh, your, uh, will, he will help you melt your stresses away. And being with people that understand you and make you feel like your stresses are not uh, the end of the world, but also... Uh, that they have been there too and uh, they will help you uh, figure out uh, uh, ways to uh, make you feel less stressed basically uh, I really love this message for you like I said uh, this doesn't mean that you will not find uh, someone that you your only focus is going to be in your community um, it really just means that your focus if you want a relationship you really need to focus in your existing relationship in life and opening up your heart to the possibility that you will meet new people in new communities and you will find your special someone there but the main issue here is you being present in the moment and saying yes to people where they invite you if someone invites you for example to a particular thing that you have never done before like i don't know um a dance class a pole dancing class a hiking class uh just go and try it out because you never know uh, the people that you're going to meet you never know how beautiful you're going to feel uh, afterwards it is okay to try new things maybe this is just an invitation to try new things in the month of may and uh, move on with what makes you feel most uh, attractive towards yourself and will help you build your confidence basically i want to get one last card that is going to correspond to uh, the outcome of this uh, reading the outcome of the month of may so for people who will choose pile number three oh my god you have a card already and it is my favorite card this is my favorite card of this uh deck it is card number 51 i think it is the last card of um this particular deck and it sells milk and honey and i love this card you have a rainbow imagery over here and you have another rainbow imagery over here even though this particular card doesn't have the color it is a rainbow nonetheless i think uh, it is stated in the guidebook uh, also and milk and honey is pretty much these two cards and this card all combined this is you uh, enjoying yourself this is you enjoying your community this is you enjoying life this is you finally uh, creating the life that you want this is you receiving the love that you desire this oh my god I feel uh, I need to take a moment to breathe for some reason because I got so excited um when I see my favorite cards in uh, readings uh, in the while I make videos, I uh, I feel so happy. I feel so satisfied. This is happiness embodied. Milk and honey is uh, not only you uh, taking care of people around you with the food that you make, the food that you put to the table, or your um, uh, 
all the work you put uh, towards uh, the people around you, but also you taking the moment to appreciate the life uh, as it is and for the simple things and for the bigger things, of course, because milk and honey are uh, one, are two of the most uh, simple uh, foods you can uh eat basically and they go together so well of course it makes you um i don't know i really feel like your life is going to get so sweet uh, you're going to have such sweetheart moments you're going to feel like you are at the right place at the right time and it is something that maybe you have been struggling for a while and this is why you have particular messages about enjoying the little things uh, with the card over here and uh, being present in the moment and taking time to rest and that you did all you could do and uh, and also opening up to the people around you about all the stresses in life and uh, um, oh my god you are the luckiest group uh, for me this is the most beautiful group out of all three you are so lucky you are going to experience new uh, beautiful things in your life if you take a moment to pause and appreciate the things that you already have if you pause and go out in the nature or build something around you uh, that feels like your aesthetic basically uh, this is a call for you to rest for a little bit, uh, you did all you could do, you tried your best and it was perfectly fine if it uh, didn't resonate with uh, this past situation because this is what will lead you to building your community, uh, building the community that you want with the same purposes as you. Uh, with the main focus of feeling good and believe me when I tell you you will receive so much love in the month of uh, May that you um, haven't really even give some uh, particular thought maybe you feel like uh, love is mostly about relationships and uh, a specific someone that makes you feel a specific way but believe me when I tell you love is so much deeper than that love is uh, all that makes us uh, feel um, calm and give us uh, energy to do things believe me when I tell you love is out there if you put the right energy onto yourself first so this is an invitation to pause and give into yourself and your inner desires and you will receive everything uh, you could even uh, imagine so that is all I have for you today thank you so much for watching Leave a comment down below if this message resonated to you. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. If you kept this video playing in the background, if you wanted someone to keep you company, I appreciate it. It helps my channel grow so fast. And that is all. Thank you so much again. It is always an honor for me to read your cards. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!